are and the bowels of the health hub. Uh, and literally we're in the bowels of the health hub. We're coming over now to see Mary from Bell Kids in New Zealand. Hi Mark. Mary, hello. <laughs> Hi. It's been a really busy time here for you. Oh, very busy, very busy. For so, sure. um, so tell us why you're here at the Health and Wellbeing Hub at Field Days. Okay, well, Bowel Cancer New Zealand's here because it's so important to raise the awareness message about bowel cancer. Um, you know, it's not just an older person's disease, it affects everyone. everyone. And it, look, rural communities and the guys and out there, the farmers, we want them to know, you know, keep an eye out for symptoms. Um, any blood in your stool, um, in your poo, uh, change in bowel motions where you're a bit more constipated or got some diarrhoea, you know, over several weeks. It's really important to see your GP. And we want to get that message out there loud and clear because bowel cancer is the second biggest cancer killer in New Zealand uh, and 250 people are diagnosed each month. So, so important um, that, yeah, everyone gets themselves to GP if they have symptoms. So is it an older person disease or is it, can it affect anyone? Look, bowel cancer can affect anyone. Um, I was 28 when I was diagnosed 14 years ago, so I'm one of the really lucky ones. But we're hearing you know, more and more of younger people being diagnosed. And in fact, 350 people are diagnosed under 50 every year. So, you know, while it is, if you're over 50, you're in a you know, much more high risk category for bowel cancer, it's still happening younger and you can't ever think you're too young to have bowel cancer at all. I understand that there's some bowel screening being rolled out for the, for the Waikato area. Yeah, look, that's really exciting news. Um, so the District Health Board is rolling out bowel screening. Uh, it started in March. So anyone between the ages of 60 and 74 will get a invite in the mail, sent a test kit. And we really, really want everyone to do this test kit. If you get it, it could save your life, you know, and it could catch your bowel cancer at a really early stage before you even have symptoms, before you know you have it. And it, look, it's not a, it's a very clean kit. It's, you do it at home, it's really easy to do. You've, you've so, got look, one. I, and, <laughs> and I've got one here. I, yeah. mean, I was really surprised. I was just yeah. picking an ice block stick yeah, in, in no. a puddle, but it's, it's literally a tiny little yeah. stick. Like, why wouldn't you do it? It's um, simple, clean, you do it at home, you send it off. Put it in the poo. Yeah, and then it will, it you'll get a result. Um, either a t it'll either test will come back positive or negative. If it's positive, it doesn't mean you've got bowel cancer. It just means that you've got some blood in your poo and that needs to be investigated. You know, and maybe it's bowel cancer, but maybe it's, it's nothing. So that just needs to be investigated. And um, look, it's a life-saving, it's life-saving screening. So tell us about the testing for it. Yep. So uh, it's a colonoscopy usually? Yep, so if this comes back positive and you need a, uh, further testing, you will have a colonoscopy, which um, you have a scope that goes up your bottom, your bum, and they'll have a look around there and they'll be looking for polyps. Uh, and if they find any polyps, because polyps bleed and you can't always see the blood. So that's what they're looking for and they're hoping to catch them at precancerous. And if they're cancerous, still not a terribly bad situation, but you know, we want to catch it before it gets to a tumour stage where you're needing a lot of treatment. Because it's very treatable. It's really treatable. You know, 90% of bowel cancer is treatable if caught early. So it's great news. It doesn't need to be the second um, biggest cancer killer in New Zealand. We want to bring that stat down and we need everyone to do screening that's 60 to 74. And if you're younger and you've got symptoms, go to your GP. I can't stress so, that enough. And again, the <laughs> symptoms, so look at your poo. Look at your poo. Look See at the if, toilet yeah, paper. Yeah, exactly. Is there any blood in the toilet bowl? So you it know? might be hemorrhoids? Could be hemorrhoids. May, maybe not. No, it's not always hemorrhoids. And if you, look, if you've been to your GP, but you're still getting some bleeding, or you're still, your bowels don't feel right, get a second opinion, you know? like. Yeah, it's always best to err on the um, side of caution and you know your body best. You know, trust your gut. So Mary, we're encouraging people to come down here yes. to the Health and Wellbeing Hub. Yep. Come and visit us. We've got a giant bowel <laughs> here. Come and see me, I'll take you through the bowel. So should we go for a wander through Let's now? Let's have a look, let's have a look. It's not scary, it's actually really fun. So this is the colon mark. It's a great visual guide for what it's like in your bowel. And this is a polyp. And these bleed, so you can't always see the blood, and that's what the uh, bowel screening test is looking for, blood that you can't detect with your own eye. And that's why it's so important you do it, because they're not always cancerous, but if they are, we want to catch it early. And this is what happens if, the, um, if you don't get onto your symptoms early, uh, and you don't do your screening kit, is it can um, grow into the bowel wall and turn into a tumour. So we don't want that. Act early, get your symptoms seen. Mary. Fascinating to come down here and look at the bell alone. Thank you very much for your time. No problem. Thanks for having us, Mark.